Hi, this is Sean with Crew Dog Electronics. I'm going to show you how to reflash your software. So if you're getting a solid red light and a flashing green light, it means there's something corrupted with the software and you'll need to reflash it. So go ahead and just unplug the power. And then what you want to do is take out this micro SD card with a pair of tweezers very carefully. It's a very brittle card. So just reach in there, pull it out, and this brings out your micro SD card. You want to put the micro SD card into an SD card adapter just like this, label up, and then you can use this SD card adapter to plug into your laptop or computer to actually do the flashing process. And I'll show you how to do that now. All right, now that you're on your computer, you'll need to visit two websites. First is Etcher, E-T-C-H-E-R.io, and this is the program that allows you to burn images to your SD card. So bring up the website, I'll put a link here at the bottom. Click on download. Um, I have a Mac, but they also have PC versions, and that'll save to your desktop. You can just go ahead and install it. And then the other thing you'll need to do is go to stratix.me. Once again, I'll put the link at the bottom. Go down to download, click that, and that'll download the latest image. And you can just go ahead and save that to your desktop. I've already done that as well. So here is the downloaded image. Double click on it to unzip it. For Windows, I think it's built in, or you can use a program like WinZip. And this will go ahead and unarchive the image, and it should be a .img file, and you'll see here on the desktop in a second. Okay, it's just about done extracting the archive, and it'll be an image file. After this is done, we'll open up Etcher and insert our micro SD card uh, that's already in the adapter into the side of the, the laptop or the computer. So there's the image. I'm going to open up Etcher. All right, now I'm in Etcher. You'll need to select your image, so click on Select Image. Select the image that you just unzipped. Don't do the .zip file, do the .img. And then for Select Drive, if you put your SD reader into the slot, it should automatically detect. I just inserted mine. There it is, it detected. But if you have multiple ones, you could click on Change and pick the appropriate one. Now all you need to do is hit Flash. It's going to flash the image, and then it's going to verify it, and it'll automatically unmount it for you. All right, you can see here we're just about done validating. So it's checked that the image on the SD card matches the one on your computer. And it's also automatically going to unmount the SD card for you. There you go, it's done. So you can just remove the SD card from the side of your laptop or the computer. And I'll show you how to insert it into the unit. Now that you have the new software flashed, you can take your micro SD card out and insert it back into the unit. You can see there's a little bracket in here. You want to insert the card gold facing up right into that bracket very gently just pushing in with slight pressure with your finger it's not going to click inside it'll just be seated in there and you can see it's flush inside the unit and that'll be it when you boot on your unit you should get a solid green light instead of a flashing green light and that lets you know that the software is now working if you've got any questions you can visit the website send me an email or visit us on facebook